And we're gonna take a look at the Spotlight Piano. And this is a familiar piano to a lot of us because we've heard it in um, Glacier Keys, Midnight Grand. So this is using the same Steinway. They've just really captured this uh, Steinway in just uh, an amazing fashion. Let's uh, just jump right into it. The balanced, and let's go. Let's have a joyful journey. Let's go. Man, wow, gee, that is gorgeous. And listen to those uh, signature fracture sounds, uh, texture layers. So what we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and turn the, um, the layers off. So we've got uh, three mic positions, the close mic and mid and far. And we can even go in here and have more settings uh, to blend these crazy uh, adaptive things with the mics. And they put time alignment in there as well. So like when the mics are spaced uh, apart, the sound will get to them at different times. And so you can actually time align them so you eliminate that delay. Uh, it's, um, it's a really neat feature. And, and this is the first time I've seen this um, in, in a long time in a sample library. So um, it's nice to see that. Um, I'm going to say the close mix. So I'm going to go ahead and just take the reverb out. Yeah, let's just turn, let's just listen to the close mic a little bit. And let's go to E.
The SL88 Grand, typically, this is this is why we're in this mood here. A little Nat King Cole there, uh, but that's where this took me. I don't think that this um, particular piano is geared for rock and roll as much as it is geared for um, emotion and um, yeah, just just that just that mood, that moment, that the emotion, that really uh, nice and deep. Um, emotion. But what uh, this SL88 imparts is that it will bring out the softest character of an instrument because it, it, it is so dynamic because it responds to those softer velocities in such a way that, uh, that that's, what, that's what is digging into those soft layers. And so what I have to do a lot of times and what I've, what I've done with this, what we'll do with this is the response. Um, I always keep the SL88 at a linear response. And then if there's any tweaking that needs to be done, we do it, we do it in here in the settings. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take this, um, this timbre scaling. And what this lets you do is to kind of, you know, dial, dial it up and having a con, uh, convex shape that will help to uh, scale, scale that, um, scale that a little bit. And so I've really pretty much cranked that scaling all the way, all the way up, uh, because that seems like that helps me to get into some of those brighter, um, areas. Now you can see, you can hear all, let's see. That instantly just brought up that timbre. And it's a Steinway, so it's not going to be like a, a C7 that's not going to, um, you know, take your head off when you play those top. It's still got that nice round tone. And then we can adjust the volume scaling a little bit too. Uh, and then in this preset, it was set a little bit uh, convex, and, or no, concave. Um, and then I'm just going to put it back to linear. And uh, we're just still at this basic. You hear a little bit more of that attack when, when that timbre scaling is bumped up. Instantly, it it causes you to play a different way. Um, wow. Almost like a David Benoit type of thing. Yeah, it's just like, this is just like a jazzier sound when you... Um, when you bump up that timbre, so it's just like a almost like a David Benoit type of uh, type of thing. And 
and this is just using the close and far mic a little bit. Uh, let's uh, pull um, let's pull this mid mic in a little bit, and I'll bring the close down, and let's uh, bring the um, bring the mid up. Oh, that mid mic is sounding really tasty. Yeah, let's just listen to the mid mic by itself. And I'm hearing a lot of those beautiful. And if Luke or Will is in the house still, uh, what uh, what microphone setup did you guys use for the um, for the mid for the mid mic or the or the mics in general? Just give us a maybe give us a rundown of that. It just kind of came to me. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that. And the 414s, I'm hearing the 414s in this mid mix, if they just captured that very nice top layer. Especially down here, you hear you can really hear the strings. at the mid mic without any any effects and Stephen yes I agree with that it's it's you you hear this warmth and then you can it gets brighter But still, is maintaining that uh, that Steinway, that Steinway vibe. Now, listen to how responsive that is. Might as well throw a texture in here. Let's do the Luna texture.
Yeah, let's see what the color is. Uh, the color knob does, uh, Mr. Tugwin. I think it's uh, maybe a tonal. So we get some a little dark. Now let's uh, move it over some. Yeah, really brightens it up. And then the timbre shift is a really cool thing. Let's, uh, let's darken that. <laughs> wow it's incredible you just don't know you don't know what what it is this is this is all spontaneous this is what i love i mean i guess i love it um i love my wife and she she says she says you love doing this just about more than anything and i guess it's because of the these moments right here uh is where you take a you take an instrument you you and 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 I don't, you know, I, I read the manual some, but this is this is discovery. This is discovery to go into these instruments and and to be surprised. I love being surprised. Just like there, uh, you know, you're you're, you know, you're using the, uh, you've got the timbre shift going down. You know, I just brought the timbre shift down, which darkens the piano in a way. I guess it shifts the formants or something like that. Uh, shifts the tuning. But then I went the other way with the color. But what that does, it just it just does something very cool. And it pulls something out. It just wow. And then the textures, the textures just add that extra layer of um, dimension that uh, just takes things to a completely different level. And we're still on the first um, snapshot and just, uh, man. Let me go to another uh, pre uh, snapshot, lost accompanist and, okay.
So it's using the higher samples and pitch shifts them down and then the color makes it, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, so you you pitch shift them, you, you shift them down and then you tune them back up. Uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing thing. Uh, so this is Lost Accompanist, uh, the glint. Uh, it's got a uh, the glint layer, foray and flare and the raw, so. And I got to go back in and just bump that up a little bit because, uh, and I could do it in the in the keyboard. Uh, yeah. And the atmosphere intensity. I'll listen to that. We turn them all the way off. Or the intensity down, not completely off. And then we'll bring them back up. I'm going to hit it and let it just ring out and just listen to all of the stuff that's going on. It's just gorgeous. It's still going. And the layers, you've got three, six, let's see, you have three, six, nine, you got 12 different layers. Um, and those in themselves are fabulous. Let's go to Great Plateau. and soft touch. Little John Williams, uh, Sabrina. Um, and it brings me to a beautiful, um, just love that. When we first saw Sabrina in the theater, it was just my wife and myself, and it was just so beautiful. And the music, John Williams just is always such a phenomenal, it's always such a phenomenal time. This this reminds me of that. Wow. Wow. It's so gorgeous. And then <laughs> we've got um, a bunch of uh, just texture, mixtures, piano and orchestra. Let's look at that. 
Um, thanks everybody for your beautiful support. Um, listen. And this is just the textures. And I think all of the um, textures were derived from the piano recordings and processed and, um, and done in such a way as only fracture sounds can do. Okay, let's just go to, um, it's just beautiful. Let's go to Intim, let's, let's see. Man, there's so many things I wanna see. Um, let's go to uh, <laughs> recital. Listen to that. I could be here, um, be here all day with this. Um, yeah, maybe one of the guys uh, can, yeah. Okay, so five velocity layers and up to eight round robins. Um, yeah. So, yeah, five velocity layers. And, you know, the, there's a whole other discussion about velocity layers and stuff. And, you know, you can have 127 velocity layers and they and they they might not be good velocity layers So if you have five good velocity layers, it just, you know, it, it just makes it, uh, it kind of makes the, the point moot at a certain, a certain level. 
Okay, let's just do one more, and then we're going to give a copy away uh, thanks to um, the generosity of Fracture Sounds. And, um, man, let's go to the great, uh, the great Plateau, and let's look at the mic mix here. We've got the close mic and mid and far. Ooh, this sounds really punchy. Come fly with me, come fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me, 